What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Reverse Hive Mind. We're playing more Lost Judgment, the Kaido Files today. And with this absolute banger of a soundtrack right now, we are going to head up and uh, try to catch up with Mikiko before she does something rash. Oh, shit! Wait, aren't you... Damn it. We can't let him call for backup. We have to take him out, quick. Nice little spear tackle there. Alright, cool. Uh, I'll just uh, top off with a couple of uh, lettuce sandwiches and move on. I have a feeling this is going to be... Oh, really? There's only three levels? I thought it was going to be more of a gauntlet. Okay, we're gonna have to fight our way through the hotel. Hey, That's annoying. They gotta be around here somewhere. Find them. Huh? You found us. Yes, we're already Jincho's most wanted. Damn. How many of these guys are there? I get up? Thank you. Just getting trampled to death. Fuck out of here. <laughs> I know it looked random, but there was a method to my madness. I was trying to make sure I took out the gun there guys should be first. A guest elevator somewhere around here. We can take that all the way to the top. It's quite a chaotic hallway fight. Okay, so let's see if they can go through these doors. I don't know if there's anything down that hallway or worth running for. It looks like that's a wall, so I'm not going to worry about that. Oops. I'm going to chow down on a delicious lettuce sandwich and a rice ball. We'll just check these alcoves real quick to make sure I'm not missing anything. Oh my god, bro, are you serious? Yeah, move, dude. Stamina and spark, wonderful. Uh, and... Corner. Yeah, and those are just a dead end. Locked doors. Cool. Let's get this elevator. Perfect. We can take this guy all the way to the top. There they are! Found them! Ugh. 
God damn, they're still coming. Hey, Kaito, you go take care of Mikiko-san. Just leave these guys to us. We got this. Huh. You better, tough guy. We can take this many of them ourselves. I owe you one. Thanks. Uh, isn't this a little more than we can handle? Pipe down. Now let's do this. No time for doubts. Just start punching. It's dark. Did Ikarashi and Cinda kill the power? That helps a ton. Oh god, do we have to do stealth? Not like security's lightened up at all, though. Can't let them pick me off from a distance. Gotta watch my ass. Careful now. Yeah, of course. Stealth. Night night. Was worth the uh, lettuce sandwiches. I mean, not really. I I just wasn't quite patient enough to let him turn around. Okay. Hmm. Cool. Stealth one hundred. Seek. Nowhere to run. You're dead. Here we go. Square to doubt.
was fun. I like that. Handed out a nice ass whooping. That ate up way more time than I would have liked. The stairs of the roof are just over there. All right. It took away the item. What bullshit? Um, let's see. Let's try a bento set. And a rice ball to top off. Almost ran right past us. So let's check out the uh, high tech shin guards. Attack defense booster. Attack 3, defense 3, attack 7, defense 7, attack 5, yeah. The 3% defense is not really worth the... Okay. Yeah, we're all topped up. I'd love to do a toughness Z, but meh. Alright, tough enemies way to head, they say. I'm sure they do. Let's go. Sadamotive and Mikiko should be up ahead. Am I ready to do this? You goddamn right. Let's go. Mikiko! Stay back! Come near and I shoot! Come now, Mikiko. You would really shoot your husband? That's the only reason I'm here. Very well. Then perhaps let's settle down and talk this through. Talk? What is there to talk about? Well, try putting this all into perspective. Are you sure you want to kill me? Can you kill me? Oh, I've got an answer to that. <laughs> but what about our son? What would June think? Would he condone his mother's actions as a killer? Have you even considered the thought? <sighs> of course you have. Compassion comes naturally to you, and guilt enough to freeze you in your tracks. After all, that's what gives this woman her charm. Wouldn't you agree, Kaito-san? Sinister fuck! Unfortunately, nice people don't make money. Business opportunities are all around us. Most fail to seize them, let alone comprehend they're there. Why? It's simple. They're inefficient at drawing wealth to themselves quickly and competently. Instead, they sate themselves on worldly affairs and superficial relationships. They're worthless. So, you cut down your old pals and burn her family alive. They meant nothing to you. Precisely. You catch on quick. I like your potential. Now I'll admit the Natsume family ordeal was a risky choice. But the results ordeal. really spoke for well. themselves. It was a brilliant idea, if I do say so myself. Inhuman bastard! Kyuya! You think you'll get away with killing my parents? My sister? You're dying right here! Right now! How curious. You actually seem like you mean it. Well, at least you came prepared. Glad I took the steps to confirm that. How the hell is he so calm when he's staring down the barrel? Damn it! Let me go! Dude! Fucking Ken Mochi Tad again. Late, Ken Mochi. Uh, my bad, Kyo-chan. Damn you, 
Saramoto. Settle down. You move and June dies. Understand? <laughs> Can't move, can you? He takes after me, that's for sure. Never know when he'll catch his old man off guard. Seems I was right to discipline him the way I did. Asshole! That's your own son right there! Now then, Mikiko. The real party's about to begin. What? First, let's dispose of any unnecessary baggage. Shoot Kaito, and I will release Jun. No. <laughs> he has a knife. Put a bullet between his eyes. He will drop like a sack of potatoes, and Jun will not be harmed. Of course, if she doesn't have uh, enough confidence in her shooting skill to take that headshot, I could see what the problem is. Personally, I have trained for that <laughs> as part of my job, and I would probably take that headshot. Anyway, fuck, this is bad. June completely freezes up when, he, when this happens. Think, Kaito. There's got to be a way out of this. I mean, he's maybe, what, seven, eight yards away? Yeah, he's what, maybe five to seven yards? Yeah, that's not a hard headshot. Oh boy, okay. How do I get out of this situation? I'm thinking either reassure June or reassure Miki, or maybe persuade, oh, you know, Kenmochi feels a lot of, of guilt. I remember when we beat his ass the last time. He felt a lot of guilt for killing uh, killing uh, Mikiko's parents. I don't know that reassuring Mikiko will do much of anything. Reassuring June may help him get his nerve to not freeze up. But... Eh. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with reassuring June and see how that works. June! You okay, bud? I'm going to help you out of this. <laughs> Okay, let's try persuading Kenmochi. Hang on. Kenmochi still thinks Michiko killed those Crimson Lotus guys, doesn't he? Oh yeah, there's that and his guilt from killing her family. I could try telling him the truth and see if that changes his mind. Hey, Kenmochi. You still think Michiko was the one taking down Crimson Lotus? Of course I do. The hell are you talking to me for? Because there's something you might want to know. Each time Mikiko went to take out your buddies, someone else had gone and done him in first. They were dead by the time she got there. Get out of here! With her memories back, and a plan to kill Crimson Lotus, Mikiko became a huge threat. Enough to scare the killer into action. And by killing his old pals, he could erase his dark ties and pin the crime on Mikiko in one fell swoop. The fuck are you yapping on about? Still don't get it? It's the guy standing next to you. Your legendary guru is a traitor. What? Hmm. I hear Sadamoto's been making the rounds on the media lately. Earned himself a reputation as a CEO in demand. It's why he can't afford having his connections to you guys surface. And on top of that, he needed to act fast to keep Mikiko from ever reaching out to you guys. What are you saying? Mikiko knows some dark shit about her husband's past. And Sadamoto didn't want you spotting any discrepancies between her truth and what he fed you. Had that happened, you probably would have gone after him yourself, Kenmochi. What's the description see between what Mikiko and Kinmochi know? Fact is, Sadamoto was the one taking out Crimson Lotus, not Mikiko. Huh? But you said that already, oh, yeah. didn't you? Whoops. <laughs> uh, right, but that's not the point. There's a reason why Sadamoto started killing everyone now. 
have Context to find out his wife might still be alive. He realized he'd be in deep shit if she got in touch with you first. If that happened, there's a chance you'd learn conflicting facts about the Nasume family arson. Well, what's the goddamn conflict? It just basically tells you it's the Natsume army. You say it was an accident that Maho-chan and her parents were burned alive. Nobody was supposed to be home, right? Well, yeah. I was told they were on vacation. The place was supposed to be empty. Let me guess. Sadamoto gave the order. Told you nobody get hurt. So what? What are you getting at? Your guru made it loud and clear before you showed up. He said, the Natsume family ordeal was a risky choice, but the results really spoke for themselves. He knew Maho-chan and her parents were home that night, and he still had you burn the place down. No. Since you guys were just after the property, you had no reason to burn anyone to death. Even a hardened criminal might flinch at such an order. But Sadamoto is no warrior. Oh, that's a longer thought. headshot than I thought. He wanted the Natsume's fortune for himself. And for his company to survive, he needed them to die. That's why he lied to you. After fixing up his own alibi. Bullshit. He's lying. Right, Jochan? Huh. You've hit quite the sore spot. Sadamoto, you only had me find Mikiko, so you could get to her before Crimson Lotus. But when I found her, you planned to lock her up and wipe out Crimson Lotus yourself. Then you would wait for the perfect time to finish her off and make it look like suicide. Sound about right? <laughs> I knew I liked your potential. Shuchan! What's this guy saying? It's all lies, right? The night of the arson was Maho Chan's birthday. <sighs> the Natsumes and Maho Chan were big on wine, so I sent them a vintage Bordeaux to celebrate. After all, what's a million yen between friends? Shuchan! Meanwhile, I was enjoying dinner at a restaurant with my lovely wife. From there, I gave Maho-chan a call and wished her a happy birthday. She told me the wine was delicious. Even the Natsumes, who were notorious wine snobs, enjoyed it. I was worried my secret ingredient, sleeping pills, had altered the taste. But to my relief, it all turned out fine in the end. What? If it's any consolation, the Natsumes were dead asleep. I'm sure they went out painlessly. Julia, How could you? Hey, Kyo-chan! This is just one of your jokes, right? Hmm... Should be any moment now. Delayed, I suppose. What's that bastard waiting for? God, he's leaving himself wide open to a good shot. What the? <laughs> That's more like it. Finally, the stuff started kicking in. Big relief. Shoot shot! This is bad. The whole party's. Poisoned everybody's uh, drinks it or something. Appears to be taking a bit longer than I'd have liked. Okay, Sadamoto, tell me, what the hell did you do? Well, I imagine this will go down as one of the deadliest dinners in history. Would you like to see? Aren't I thoughtful? This dude's just a straight sociopath. Oh no, what's 
Excellent! I've just killed the final four members! A resounding success! You piece of shit! You poisoned their drinks? Yes, I used the slow-acting stuff. A quicker poison wouldn't do for taking out a large group at once. Anyone who gets a drink later on would find out it's poisoned and refuse to touch it. Even so, I was starting to worry I'd miscalculated since the effects took so long to show. Terribly sorry, Kenmochi. I'll hold a grand funeral for you, so try to rest in peace, okay? You even targeted innocent people! I wouldn't say I targeted them. There was a designated table for everyone in Crimson Lotus. I can't help it if some non-members stopped by for a drink. So at that point, I would say it's on them. Besides, wouldn't it make more sense for a vengeful, hate-fueled killer to pile on a few extra casualties? The public is much more liable to eat up a dramatic story, after all. You're out of your goddamn mind! And now, Mikiko, the curtain rises on you. The time has come to kill Kaito. Do it, and I'll spare you and the boy. We both know he's lying. Why in the hell would I listen to you? Ah, right. Perhaps this scenario merits a bit of explanation. As for tonight, I'm technically not supposed to be here. Well, I was supposed to make a surprise appearance, but only a few people know. And those people are all dead now. Anyway, I left your hair and fingerprints in the kitchen where the poison was prepared. And on the rooftop, your ex-lover's bullet-riddled corpse will be found. That be you, Kaito-san. On top of that, I've arranged it so a news leak will soon reveal Crimson Lotus as the masterminds behind the Natsume arson. As the story goes, you took the lives of each one out of vengeance. This party was held to clean up any stragglers. And when your old boyfriend caught wind of the whole affair, you gunned him down too. That is what the cops and the media will learn. It was you all along, my dear. <sighs> but I won't just leave you dry. Kill Kaito and I'll throw in a hundred million yen. You could use that to flee overseas with June and live a comfortable life. <coughs> Though, I imagine that wouldn't appeal to you. How could you murder an innocent man? So once Kaito's dead on the ground, I suggest you kill yourself as well. The hell? If you go through with it, I'll even add another hundred million for June. <laughs> At least I'm offering child support. More than a lot of fathers do. <laughs> this guy's such a sociopathic fuck. Now hurry up and shoot him! You were itching to kill someone, weren't you? Take too long, and June will be the one to die. <gasps> he really was the devil after all. I was naive. I'm so sorry. I dragged you into this mess. Well, guess I better prep for the worst. Mikiko. It's okay. 
I'm here. Huh? Well, this changes things. Your little storyline just took a twist. What are you playing at? How about I rewrite this scenario? A dirtbag husband commits mass murder, then gets caught and tries to pin it on his wife. So a Yakuza steps in and puts him down. <gasps> I go to jail and it's happily ever after. Just stay out of this. You can't get blood on your hands. June needs you in his life. <clears throat> can't imagine I'll miss at this range. <laughs> you say that, but how else am I gonna get strong? Strong enough to protect the people I care about. You wanna get strong, June? Then focus on what's in here. Huh? What do you mean? Just keep that fire burning in your heart. And it'll all make sense one day. this guys have how many knives can one guy have <laughs> oh goodness and just when i thought i had you june mikiko you two go i'd love to play some more but time is running short i'll have you bleeding out by the time the cops arrive I love the titles. <laughs> Image active interactive CEO. Have some sort of over here. Apparently, he that that whatever that was did like a blindness or something. Over here. 
take advantage of when he's on the ground. And now he's got a taser too. Okay, that was bullshit. I like, I don't know. I do get annoyed when I do the evade inputs and it's like, nah, you're like five seconds behind apparently. Punish him when he gets on the ground. Oh, that's an unfortunate. I'm gonna let the blindness run out. There you go, put a round between his running lights. Wait. Everything was a lie. Everything you've ever said to me was bullshit. Our marriage was bullshit. I guess you got what you wanted. To think I lived under the same roof with the monster who killed my family. My only sister! How does it feel right now? You calculate this too? Goddamn coward! Nick, go. Don't do it. I should have ended this a whole lot sooner. <laughs> when we split, I was the same as you. I only wanted revenge. It nearly killed me. I realized what was precious was right in front of me. But then I went down the path of vengeance. For the boss of the Matsukane family. And now, here you are, doing the same thing. Why, Mom? What happens now? You gonna get yourself locked up?
so sorry. I'm so sorry. God damn you. It's all your fault! Why, huh? Why'd you do it, Jochan? Why? Why? Thanks, Ken Mochi. So that wraps things up in a tight little package. your butt hey kaito on a key <sighs> don't push yourself too hard yet you came in here pretty banged up you've been out for three days that long huh where's mikiko is she okay yeah mom was looking after you the entire time she nearly passed out on her feet when she said she was feeling lightheaded, Shirakaba-san took her to get some rest. You didn't want to go with your mom? Nah, I'm cool right here. But I have a feeling I come out to fight Shirakaba. Keep me company too. Ah, well, I had time to kill, so. And Sadamoto? Oh. Uh... He uh didn't make it. He didn't. Oh, those are from Yagami. He's back from his business trip. He came by earlier, but saw you were out like a rock. That put him at ease, so he left this and went home. <laughs> nice touch. <sighs> Easy now, Anaki. It's no problem. No problem, huh? You're practically split at the seams. I think I'll hold together just fine. Uh-huh. Just try to stay out of trouble, okay? June. You free to talk? Oh, uh, sure. How you holding up? Fine, I guess. You know, my old man wasn't the greatest either. In fact, he was a nasty drunk. Yeah? Yep. He barely worked. Used up our money on booze. And every swig he took meant a swing at his family. I couldn't live in a home like that. So, I ran away. Then, I got kicked out of school, and after doing some more dumb shit, I ended up in juvie. After that, it was clear what kind of life I had coming. Huh. No kidding. Growing up, I wish the old bastard would just drop dead. Deep down, I took out all my problems on him. He was why my life turned out fucked up. But in reality, those fuck-ups were mine alone. Huh. Sure, my pops was a no-good loser who destroyed himself with alcohol. But when I got word he died, for some reason, all I could think of were the few good times we had. Huh? 
stupid, right? Why? After hating his guts my whole life. <laughs> Sorry. I know this ain't making it easier. <sighs> Actually, there was this one time my dad took me out for a drive. Thinking back, maybe he just felt like cruising around in his brand new car. But he asked me if there was anywhere I wanted to go. And then he took me far away. Just so I could see the ocean. <laughs> Joe, take it slow, okay? You don't have to worry about me. I'm fine now. For real. You sure? <laughs> Man, he's really trying to tough this out. You know what, Kaito? I've been thinking. I never really wanted to be a Yakuza. It was something different all along. Oh, yeah? And what would that be? Not a detective. I want to be the kind of guy you can depend on. Someone who's strong. Someone like you, man. So don't worry. <laughs> as much as it hurts, <laughs> I'll be okay. <laughs> June, I know it's tough. I can take it. And besides, I'm not a kid anymore. <laughs> what are you gonna do now? Go see your mom at Shirakaba-san's place? Yeah, someone's gotta go pick her up. Oh, speaking of, Shirakaba-san asked me to give you a letter when you woke up. A letter? For what? You know. Kaito-san, as I've mentioned before, I intend to propose to Mikiko-san. I won't do it right away. She and her son need time to process. But I will say this. If you still have any feelings for Mikiko-san, I suggest you pay me a visit. Yasutaka Shirakawa. What a guy. So, what's it say? Hmm. I think it's a challenge. And that means what exactly? Actually, June, I'll come see Mikiko with you. You sure? I can get there myself just fine. Trust me, I know. Huh. Okay, then. <laughs> no, I got some ass to beat. Shirakaba challenged me to a freaking duel. Guess we're settling this once and for all. Demand satisfaction, sir. Head over to his place whenever I'm ready. Last chance to roam around. This mode does not have premium adventure after the main story, so this is your final chance to tie up any loose ends. You won't be able to save after this point, so you may want to make a backup save. So, there you have it, folks. I'm going to make another save. So, the big uh, sociopath, Kyoya Sadamoto, is dead. Um, and the last, the last thing we need to do is beat the shit out of the creepy-ass doctor and, uh, and then see what happens with Mikiko. I would, he's challenging like we're, we're almost fighting over her, but I think Mikiko, you know, she kind of has a say with who she wants to end up with. And the answer might be none of the above. You never know. 
anyway, in the next video, we're going to uh, continue on and uh, wrap this whole thing up. Till then, take care, and I'll catch you all next time.